hi loves i'm chenya Uchendi. welcome back to my channel welcome back so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching us how to achieve this look over here so guys if you have not subscribed please kindly subscribe give this video a thumbs up and tell me what to think in the comment section let's get started <music> Welcome back guys, so I'll be using this foundation here, Zikel and a brush set from Vika Bell for this look. So as you can see, I'm applying my foundation first. Um, then I'm using this Vika Bell brush, foundation brush NK3 to blend the foundation all over my face. Now I'm changing, I'm using this foundation first method foundation first before the eyes that is face first before the eyes so after the foundation i'll be using this concealer set from v beauty i'll be using this shade over here to conceal my face my under eyes my nose my um cheeks forehead jaw chin so i'm just applying the concealer remember i'm um, doing the face first makeup like um it's just the normal routine makeup you know? it's just that you work on the face first before the eyes and I'm, I'm contouring with a darker shade from the same con um, concealer palette from the beauty so I'm contouring then for blending I'm using a sponge or beauty blender to blend the concealers first the lighter concealers first that is the highlight first I'm blending remember we are blending in the tap tap motion we don't go we just tap and keep on tapping till everything is all blended then I'm now blending the contour with a smaller sponge Remember to always damp your um, sponge or juicy blender before use. Damping means add a little water to it before using. So you can use this for blending. Then to bake the face, I'm using a certain powder from Sasha. Now I'm just applying this powder where I applied my lighter concealer as highlight. Now I have a normal video for this. I'm sorry I fast forwarded the video so I don't waste our time. So I have a normal video for this. If you don't get this, you can go back to my videos and get it. Now I'm working on the eyebrow. I'm using this um hair wax so first of all hold the my natural hair is first then i use um an eye pencil a brown eye pencil from davis just to make the tail part of my eyebrow a little bit darker and i'm using this spoolie brush from vika bell now i brush up with the spoolie brush then i conceal i'm using the same concealer i used on my face that is concealer palette from v beauty now i begin to conceal and i also have a separate video for this a separate video for eyebrow if you don't get this i'm so sorry i had to fast forward it so if you don't get this and um, i have i will drop the link in the description box so go there and get the video on how to apply um, an eyebrow without eye pencil but this for this look i use an eye pencil just 
at the tail part of the eyebrow to make the tail part a little bit darker now i'm blending the concealer with the same brush a brush from vicabel i'm blending after blending with the brush i go back again and blend with a beauty blender or a sponge so this is it for the eyes this is it for the eyes now for the eyeshadow I'm using this palette from Elsa Elsa creation I'm using this for the way I just apply it all over my eyelid I keep on applying I'm just setting my eyelid first <coughs> then I go in with this color over here then apply all over my eyelid then after that I'm using this palette from Give. then I'm going with this yellow then I use an eyeshadow base from Vianage then apply the eyeshadow base all over my eyelid then go back with the same yellow I use for the eyes I'm so sorry for fast holding this like I realized that my videos are very long so I had to look for a way to make them short so I'm now blending everything together I'm using this eyeliner from a good eyeliner to line my eyes i also have a separate video on eyeliners how to apply eyeliner perfectly so if you're not able to get this i will drop the link in the description box okay there and get it how to apply eyeliner effortlessly and perfectly So guys can you see how i applied it effortlessly and perfectly if you want to know more about it then the link is in this description box then for the cat eye i'm just aligning i just extended the line to the front of my eye So this is for eyeliner and then to line my waterline I'm using a blue eye pencil to line my waterline then to wipe off the excess powder I'm using a face definer from Taron And the small powder brush from Vika Bell. Then to contour, I'm still using Zara Face Final for contour. For the nose, I'm using a smaller brush from the cover to contour my nose and same face defining from Zara, the contour part of it. And for the lips, I use this lip gloss, lipstick from Yoda and eye pencil. For the face, to blend everything together, I'm using a face powder from, um, it's called 6 color face powder. So that's what I'm using for the face. 
you want to know more about lipstick on how to apply lipstick let me know in the comments and section on how to apply lipstick effortlessly and perfectly let me know in the comment section so now i'm blending everything together i'm blending everything together with the powder and the powder brush now for glue i'm using this color here still using the same palettes from give gif gif so i'm just using the color to add glue to my face to my cheekbone my nose my forehead then on my upper lips as well then for the eyes i used um an eye lash gum from classic now i'm applying the yellow color the yellow eyeshadow i use under my eyes under my eyes the smaller brush from vika bill then i add volume to my eyelashes using an eye a mascara from naked I'm using a mascara to add volume to my lower lashes and also add volume to my upper lashes to make my natural lashes and the artificial lashes rhyme together. So guys, this is it for the final look. This is it for the final look. Thank you so much for watching. Then, if you want to know more about eyelashes on how to apply lashes, the link is in my description box. You can go there and we watch or watch the video. So, guys, thank you so much for always coming back. Thank you so so much. I really do appreciate. If you haven't subscribed, please please click the subscription button. Give this video a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Also, follow me on social media. Follow me on social media. Thank you.